The Griot Black Podcast Network is here, and it's everything you've been waiting for. News, talk, entertainment, sports, and today's issues, all from the black perspective. Ready for real talk and black culture amplified? Be inspired. Listen to new and established voices now on the Grio Black Podcast Network. Listen today on the Grio Mobile app and tune in everywhere great podcasts are heard. You, know, you don't point the finger, you point the thumb. Yeah. So this weekend I thought, you know what, even though the Cubs are not playing real well. I'm about to go get it. I think okay. I'm going to I think I'm gonna go all in and I'm going to go to the Field of Dreams game against the Reds next month. Okay. So I went to the website, said, you know what, I don't, I don't think it matters where I sit. I just want to be there, be part of the experience. Sure. It looks like the worst seat in the house is $3,000 per Great ticket. Cash, homie. That's uh, pricey. Yeah. Yeah. Like a couple of rows in front of it, $6,000. This is off their website. So this is not even secondary market. Yeah. This killed my enthusiasm for that game. What? 3000 per ticket. What's the capacity there? I think they can stretch it to 8000 So scarcity is an issue, yes. obviously, yep. but 3000 a pop is aggressive. Yes, is it, it is. Is it bleacher seats there? Uh, those seats are bleacher seats. Well, and yet, I mean, you had the great, uh, what was it, Tim Anderson last year? Mm-hmm. Was it last year? Mm-hmm. Yanks where, and the uh, White Sox. We had year. the great walk-off and it, incredible atmosphere, right? So I agree. Like, I would I would want to go, but they're, they're kind of pricing people out of the hey, market there. People, you realize it's the Cubs and the Reds. Have you not seen this season so far? <laughs> <laughs> it's still the Cubs and the Reds. It might be at Field of Dreams Stadium, but it's still the Cubs and the Reds. You don't need to go. Just stay home. That's Just stay home. <laughs> you Actually, that might be a situation where you could find it cheaper on the secondary market. Well, that's what I'm hoping. I'm going to have to go to my friends at Tickets for Less. But I was just looking this weekend. It's 3000 you know, for the worst seat in the house. Maybe you wait a little bit. Maybe the Cubs get worse. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm trying and to. And that could that could happen. I'm trying to help you out here. I'm trying yeah. to get you tickets. Yeah, that could happen by the time we get to but August. If by the time you get there, they're still pretty bad and not terribly interesting. It is what it is. You might be able to. You might be able to sneak one out for a grand. I just feel like <laughs> they're going to take that experience, and now they're making like a. They're another, ruining it. Yeah, they're making like another movie. They're ru- they're ruining that experience. That experience should be no. Ticket over like a hundred bucks. Make it like a fan experience. What about the kids? Yeah, what about the kids? Make We're a... pricing the kids out of Field of Dreams Stadium. I mean, let's be honest. At three thousand dollars a pop, you're pricing almost everybody out of it, right? Like that's like <laughs> no most normal people. That's not a thing that's happening because you're not just buying one ticket either. I mean, take it easy on us, Red and Cubs fans have had to watch this stuff this year for fifty games. I'm just saying, if you want to have this true like Field of Dreams spirit. Let's plug a hundred dollar cap on the tickets. I like how you're thinking. The people over in Dyersville are like, "What?" Listen, you wonder why baseball is, you know, losing the common fan. This doesn't help. Uh, all pricing includes taxes and fees. Oh, That's good thank to know. goodness! <laughs> I need for it to be extra. By the way, there is a little bit of a scuttlebutt on people that are selling, like season ticket holders that are through. The NCAA's website selling their tickets. Yeah. There's quite the fee for buyers. Interesting. That's why you need to go to ticketsforless.com. Live from the Host Coffee Studio. The Griot Black Podcast Network is here, and it's everything you've been waiting for. News, talk, entertainment, sports, and today's issues, all from the black perspective. Ready for real talk and black culture amplified? Be inspired. Listen to new and established voices now on the Griot Black Podcast Network. Listen today on the Griot Mobile app and tune in everywhere great podcasts are heard.